How's it going, guys? Jace here, back with another standard deck tech. Today, I'm here with a blue white mid range deck. Um, took a week or so away from playing standard, let the format sell a little. And I saw some lists online which I was like, you know what, it looks pretty cool, I do want to try out. And one of them I came across was this blue white mid range list. It's using the power of um, Beza, the Bounding Spring. When I saw this card, like, spoiled, spoiler, I thought it was going to be very good. And it is a very good card. Uh, very good ETB triggers. And it uses the Salvation Swan. To get an extra value from it and also things like tie binders and things like which is pretty cool right pretty cool so let's go through the deck list anyway we're running four copies of elspeth smite which is a very very good removal spell which can slot the aggro decks we've got four three steps ahead uh you know being able to counter something make a token and stuff is just very very good four get lost really good removal spell we've got two sunder the gateway this is a pretty good right there's a lot of artifacts there's a lot of stuff going around that you can kill, especially in charms, like all the classes and stuff, and you get to make a, a, a token as well, which is always pretty good. Deduce, nice good uh, card draw spell. Four Fairy Mastermind, again, kind of that grindy mid-range, you know, card, very, very strong. Four No More Lies, really good counter spell. Four Time Binders to really just wreck the opponent. And then we've got three Swan. This is pretty good, right? You've got four mana, three, three Flyer, which is okay stats, but then you basically get to... Uh, Basically flicker something, uh, which is very, very good. Something without flying, of course. So the elk doesn't have flying. You know, it's a big body for four mana. It gives you a ton of value. Just incredibly strong, especially against aggro decks. Then in the lands, we've just got a bunch of basics. Uh, a few dual lands. We've got some fountain port to make a bunch of tokens. And the Grunia matchups. And of course, the anchorage to get in there and do some damage. In the sideboard, we've got Lauren of the Fur Path against Arfax Enchantments. Temporary Lockdown against aggro decks. Uh, Seed Shark and some more Grunia matchups. Eternal Wanderer, which is good against creature decks and pretty good against control as well. Rest in peace against graveyard decks. Negate against like domain and control. We've got the flanker to interact with the graveyard. And then we've got Jace, the perfected mind, which is going to be very good against control decks. I mean, it's okay against aggro as well, but also very good against control. So if you do want to give a deck to try, guys, this will be in the description below. We're going to have best of three standard game. Let's see how we go. Okay, right. Putting going first. I'm just going to keep. It's not the best, of course, but. I'm going to keep. Double counter spell, potential removal, depending on what Pen does. Bitter reunion. Okay, maybe like a reanimate type deck. Gotta get counter magic though. Just in case any shenanigans. Friction flesh gorger. Um. Sure. Play land. And pass. Don't really care about taking three. Because this is sorcery speed. Yeah. Yeah, just take the damage. Anything else? Preacher. Go kind of that. Can't even have that. All right, just keep ripping uh, haymakers. Say haymakers, but counter spells. Yep. So three mana. When it does combat damage to a player, exile cards from top of your library. On the best mana cost. That's pretty good. Yeah, sure. Yep. Pay the damage. What do you get? Preacher. We just got a land to play a preacher. It's pretty good. Counter it. Another land. Mm. Okay. Land go. Uh, I am getting wrecked here. I haven't really drawn anything useful. This is... Pretty savage card. Yeah. I don't know what that even does. Push and pull. What is pull? Pop two creature cards from a single graveyard onto the battle. Wow, okay. Interesting. Ok. 
Okay, I didn't. Alright. Anything? Okay. So I need to loot. I need to find something. Um, let's get rid of the land. Go draw a card. Open to find. Okay, more land. Not, <laughs> not great. Okay, that's that's a bit better at least. Just so much land. Uh, I think. I kind of have to take the three here. I think I'm dead, right? No, I'm not. I've got to get lost in the smite. I'm on two, though. Alright, over to you, opponent. Yep. They're gonna make a guy. Okay. Yeah, and definitely not looking good for me. <laughs> yeah, definitely rough here. Sure. That's what I expected. Um, gonna get lost this. I'm gonna smite this. I'm gonna get a one. Not looking great. They have like a weird pump spell or something. We could survive on one. That would be incredible. I'll probably draw another land and no my luck. Yeah. Alright, another creature land. Sure. And another land. Okay. Well. Watch we draw another land. Oh, we did draw a Beza. Yes, finally. Actually something half decent. Okay, not great because it didn't make me a bunch of tokens, but having a 4-5 gaining me some life and uh, drawing me a card is always pretty good. What's my opponent got? I haven't seen any removal yet. Or the Mastermind. Coiling Rebirth. Oh my days. Oh my days. Yeah, I'm just going to concede. There's no way I'm winning that. Holy smokes. Alright, I want to remove their graveyard. I'm bringing a rest in peace. Bring in the flankers. Um, and then... Son of the Gateway. No, I don't need that. Elspeth Smite would be still pretty good. Tie Binder, I think would be very good as well. Um, yeah, definitely want to keep the counter magic, maybe drop one mastermind, I'll drop one deduce, I think that's fine, I think that's cool, going first, yeah I'll keep, not the best, but I do have the rest in peace, okay, land go, yep, could see a dress here, yep, well there goes the rest in peace, Yep. I think my opponent's probably going to take the rest in peace. Sure. Let's go draw. Get that damage in uh, with the mastermind. It's always going to be pretty good. And we got Bezer as well. Amazing. Keep it going. Yep. Keep it going. My opponent knows I got a counter spell. Just don't want to see. Uh, hasn't got a haste. Um. Hmm. Okay. Let it resolve. I had haste last time because of the, oh, yeah, now I drew actually good, good count as well. Alright, rumble in, um, 
I want to play Beza here. We have 4-5 and draw a card. Yeah, it seems pretty good. Ooh. Might want to go on the beatdown plan here. It's got Menace. Yeah, of course, as I forgot. I don't know why I was like, oh, I could just block it. But no. Bear Triumph. Ooh. Okay, well, there goes Beza. It's kind of annoying. They discarded a Vein Ripper. Scary stuff. Discarded two Vein Rippers. That is scary stuff. Did get another Beza though. I didn't get a land. That's kind of annoying. Alright, I'm just going to swing and pass. Yeah, maybe I might try and race them. Who knows? Yep. Yeah, this, this card's ridiculous. Maybe I should have counted it. Preacher. Yeah, they're just getting crazy, crazy stuff. Sure. Let's see what they got here. And now I'm holding up a counter spell. Okay, I need to, I need to counter that. That is 100% needed to be countered. Okay. I actually need a land. Like legit, I actually do need a land. Um, yeah, just swing in, I guess. These swans are not really doing anything, are they? My opponent is on nine, though. Like, they are on nine. All right, this Liliana. Okay. Tick up. I'll just got a swan. Do you think you can win? I think. Make me sacrifice a creature. Okay. Yep. I I don't know why. I was like, oh, I forgot that uh, Lenina has that mode. I think the fact that this doesn't flicker instantly. Yeah, it's not the best. Go for the throat. Cancel. Okay. Also, the fact is that it's not a 3 4. It's kind of weak. Okay. Surveil. Also, smite. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, I'm just going to play this. I hope to dear god I don't get wrecked. Um. So, yeah. Alright, if they tick up, probably get rid of the mastermind, maybe. Get in the next end step. Okay. Um. Drop it. Hmm. Clear of the swan. Um. I need to kill this, don't I? Let's be real. I'm gonna keep a 1 1. Oh, yeah. I was like, what if I go on top? But I knew I had my hand up. Um, yeah, just past turn. Still looking terrible. Not looking great here. Could counter something like that. Um, counter it. I'm gonna loot because I want to try and find an answer to what my opponent's doing, and that is not the answer. Um, probably get rid of that. All right, opponent tax in, draws a card. Yep. Definitely not gonna block. Oh boy. This is rough. Super rough. Take up Lily. Sure. Just gonna get rid of the land I drew. Okay. Ooh. Um. Don't get. 
Don't get double creatures though. Boom. See what my opponent does. Sure, just take the trade. Uh, they tick. Mm. I'm just gonna. Sounds weird, but I'm just gonna pass. They tick up. Get rid of the smite. I think I'm Lily. They're gonna draw more cards. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. I don't know. We'll flash this in. Allows me to draw a card at least. And I get to see what I get. I land. Perfect. Take the trade any day. They kill my guy. Ah, oh, they do. They got a another console. All right. Sure. Being super boring. Okay. All right. Well. Play big boy. Does make a difference because Liliana can still deal with it. This Liliana is working overtime. Get lost would be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Haven't you ever heard of personal space? This is actually good that they made a tech with me actually. Like legit, it's really good for me. Cause now I'm about to gain a bunch of tokens, gain some life and draw a card. Ooh, sneaky. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Very, very good. Very, very good for my opponent there. Use Lily to make me lose it, yeah. Sure. Crafty. Super duper crafty. They're back up to four cards as well. It's crazy. And they got another Lily. Come on. Opponent, leave it out. Leave it out. God, now I draw the no more lies. Of course. Of course. Of course I did. Yep. Of course I did. Yep. Uh, another preacher. Okay, well I can counter that at least. We can stop that dead in its tracks. I'm gonna tick up Lily. I'm gonna counter. Well, not counter it, but well, yeah, basically counter it. Okay. Oh, and I drew a land? you will be kidding me. Alright. Super lame. Super lame. Yep. This Preacher Liliana combo has just been brutal. Let's be real. It has just been absolutely brutal. This preacher's just working over time. My opponent's gonna be drawing like two cards a turn. Yeah, GG. I think it's gonna be GG's. They did really well. Um, oh my god, I've got some ideas and some changes that I want to do with the deck anyway. Um, so good chump, sure. Yeah, I think one of the changes is probably get rid of the swans. I don't think. They're not as good as Restoration Angel back in the day, so that's pretty good. Let's attack them, I guess. Sure. Uh, pass. It's got flash right here. Yeah. So it can come in, it can, you know, give me some live. Scry, hopefully find something relevant. Maybe. Coiling Rebirth. Oh, screw that. Let's remove their graveyard. There you go. It didn't want to give me a card. That's just rude. Yeah, go to two. Finally, draw a get lost. Uh, both into my opponent. And uh, yeah, pass. 
Depends on three here. Yeah. Interesting. It could be dead. Liliana. No. Actions. Let's make this quick. Give me sack a creature. Uh yeah. Get rid of the flanker, why not? Rubber asks forge. I think that's game, right? I think we're going to a game three. The opponent's gonna tap me for one, and then I can tap them back for three. Wow. What a game. What a game to oh, that was a comeback and a half. Alright, I think like the seed sharks could be pretty good here. Um, Liliana was annoying. Seed Shark's good against Lily. Just because of all the tokens it makes. Um, same with Eternal Wanderer. I think Eternal Wanderer could be could could be good. Tempo Lockdown's terrible. Everyone loves playing this Urabrask's Forge. The Swan is not great. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm gonna take all the Swans out. I don't. I just don't. I just don't rate it at all. I think Eternal Wanderer's gonna be a good like top end. Just like take out the board and then I think we do have Lily I think Jace could be okay yeah Jace could be good <coughs> don't really want to mill them though I think I think negate's fine we'll bring in a negate as well all right let's try that uh opening hand yeah that's an easy mulligan that's a bit better um probably get rid of Probably get rid of the wastes. Yeah, let's get rid of the other car wastes. Can't really play anything until turn three anyway. Okay. Well, let's avail. That's a good draw. Okay. Wow, well, can't believe I won that game too. That was that was pretty impressive. Sure. At least I can deal with that. That's no problem. Um. Yeah. I think I'm just going to get lost it, I think. Just get rid of it. It's just a pain. It's a pain having to deal with just free stuff constantly. I don't want to have to deal with that all the time. Rich and Flash Gorger. Yeah, that's fine. Annoying, but it's also fine. I wonder if it keeps getting bigger though. And there's another one. Jeez. Jeez. Okay. Might just die to friction flesh gorges here. Can't Elspeth smite it. Uh huh. Sure. I'll cast another one. Um. I'm just gonna play this now. Gonna gain two life and scry two. Yeah, I wanna try and get some, some good draws going. Don't really care if they kill this. That's no problem. That's a good draw. Uh that can go to the bottom. I can stay on top. In fact that's a really, really good draw. Okay, land over to you. Cool. I mean, I've got to deal with this, which is going to be an absolute pain, but it should be okay. Yep. Yep. Um. Sure. I might just make a token here. Yeah, just make a token. Another land. Um, yeah, I think another land's gonna be pretty good. I think we go seed shark, and then we can start um, like countering their removal and stuff. Um, no, I should, I should, I should pass. Just in case, they're gonna make a token as well. That's fine. I think the seed shark. 
potentially could run away with the game. Yeah, that's fine. Yep. Which is always good. My opponent kind of like needs to do something here. Alright. Uh, I'm going to sacrifice this and draw a card. Might as well. Very mastermind. Uh, I mean, it's okay. Tie binder. Alright, well. I'm not going to attack. I'm just going to pass. I need to deal with this. I need to deal with this flesh gorger and my opponent knows it as well. So I'm just going to take four here. Uh, and then next. At the end of turn. We'll just go uh, two creatures. My opponent clearly doesn't have removal. Yeah, otherwise they probably would have used it. I'm just going to get creatures down. I'm just going to get blockers down. Every blocker I get down, it makes the Flesh Gorger worse. Okay. That's interesting. That's uh, it's okay. It's not not a great draw. It's better than nothing. All right, just pass. My opponent's just gonna make a little one-one. Okay. So I can deal with the flesh gorger. I am on five. This is scary stuff. I just don't want to play a seven-drop flesh gorger, so I have to hold this up. Die to a flesh gorger. Um, that's that's fine. I can deal with that. With the Elspeth smite. Oh, it's not attacking. Oh, that's kind of annoying, isn't it? Okay. Good double block here. Like I say, I can deal with the. Flesh Gorger. Um, I might just shoot it for th three. No, I want to keep that for that. Cool. Um, my opponent's got one, two, three, four, five, six mana. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna make him draw a card. Screw it. Actually, more more cards. All right. Okay. So I've dealt with that. Vein Ripper. Oh, okay. Well, I wanted to counter that. I just drew nothing but land. You were joking. Opponent resolved a Vein Ripper. That's nutty. All right. I bet that was from the extra card I gave him as well. One hundred percent. I'm definitely dead. 100%. Definitely, they're not. Okay. Um. How much mana do I got? I got like a bajillion mana. Yep. Actually, no, I don't want to do that. That's just dumb. Let's create a copy of this. Okay. Only for one. Kind of lame. Elspeth smite this. I can't deal with this Vein Ripper. Unless I draw Get Lost. There's nothing I can do. And then there's definitely nothing I can do with the Flesh Gorger. I haven't got any, like, I've got no Sunfall or... Or anything like that. So... It's... Pretty rough. I'm gonna go to, like, I'm gonna go to two. I'm going to go to one, sorry. Just drawing so much, just drawing so much land. And yeah, the Vein Ripper is just brutal. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. I think this is this, compared to game two, this is, this is definitely GG. Interesting, okay. 
Is it whenever any creature dies or that creature? Oh, whenever any creature dies. Oh, okay, definitely GG. Unfortunately, managed to lose that game. That was close. That comeback in game two, incredible. But game three was tough. It was super tough. I mean, I was already on the back foot anyway. That Vein Ripper just sealed the deal. I was like, ah, oh, should I draw a card? Should I not draw a card? Um, but unfortunately, it's just the way it goes. So, I mean, a few things I would change in the deck. I probably would take out the Swan. They weren't that great in that matchup. And I kind of feel like in the sideboard, I probably want some board sweepers. I mean, temporary lockdown's fine, but in a matchup like that where that creature's just too big, uh, I think having some fall or something like that could be pretty good. But overall, I do enjoy this deck. So if you do want to give it a try, decks will be in the description below. If you're this far into the video, make sure to smash the like button, make sure to subscribe for more magic content. But that's it from me, guys, today's video. I'll see you in the next one.